Hey guys, it's Comfcali with Studios here, and today we are here to talk about Six Flags Great Adventure. More specifically, their 50th anniversary coming up in 2024. For those of you who don't know, I was able to conduct the first public interview with the CEO of Six Flags, Salim Basul. The video is linked both in the description if you would like to go check it out. But there was a lot of really cool takeaways from this interview with Salim. I was specifically able to ask him about the 50th anniversary that is upcoming at Great Adventure. I know there have been a lot of rumors and possible truths to those rumors regarding what Great Adventure will be doing, what Great Adventure will be getting in 2024. And let me just play the clip for you when I asked Salim about the 50th anniversary at Great Adventure. I know at uh, Great Adventure in 2024, the 50th anniversary, it's going to be big. I promise you it will be big. So I know it's definitely a little vague, but it's very telling. What this tells me is that Salim already has the 50th anniversary of Great Adventure on his mind. For this question, I did not include the fact that Great Adventure was having its 50th anniversary this year. I just said Great Adventure had an anniversary upcoming. So he definitely knew that Great Adventure's 50th anniversary was in 2024, which means there's already been talks and possible even confirmations of what Great Adventure will be doing in 2024. I've seen many, many rumors from all of you guys in my comment sections about a new coaster, whether that coaster could be an RMC, a launch coaster, a B&M Giga coaster. I've heard so many ideas thrown my way, and in this video, I'm going to take everything, including Salim's comments about rides and roller coasters, and of course, Great Adventures 50th Anniversary, along with all the rumors that I have heard, and formulate what I believe Great Adventure will be getting in 2024. So like I said, it's very clear that Salim already has 2024 as Great Adventure's 50th anniversary on his mind, which tells me he has a big plan for the 50th anniversary of Great Adventure. Salim considers Great Adventure as being one of his favorite Six Flags parks, as he discussed earlier in the interview, which tells me that he wants to treat Great Adventure to a really great season in 2024 for this massive anniversary. 50 years of an amusement park being in operation is nothing to scoff at. We can just take a look at what Kings Island did for their 50th anniversary just this past year, which was absolutely incredible, as well as Cedar Point's 150th anniversary where they had all kinds of parades and big additions, but that's a totally different company. When we take a look at Six Flags Parks, there isn't really any major celebrations we've seen from Six Flags with regards to their parks anniversaries. Of course, this year, 2022, was Six Flags Fiesta Texas's 30th anniversary, and it looks like they had a really, really great season. They got their big major coaster with the addition of Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger, in addition to an overall sprucing up of the park, and of course, the festivals that have been happening throughout the Six Flags chain. And from the videos and pictures I've seen, it looks like they have been doing improvements leading up to this year at Fiesta Texas, like the reimagining of Poltergeist, where it got new theming and new paint. It looks like they were gearing up to make the park the best it has ever looked in 2022. And judging off testimonials I've heard from other people, that definitely was the case. Now, like I said, there really isn't much to look at in the Six Flags chain with regards to anniversaries and big celebrations of major milestone years. Even just looking at Great Adventure, there wasn't much for the 45th anniversary, and the 35th anniversary, truly, I don't remember. I was too young to remember. For the 40th anniversary, we did get the addition of Zoom and Jaro, but I don't recall anything major being added to the park. I do believe there was a Great Adventure History Museum of the park that was in the park for that year. I could have been a different year, I may be wrong, but I do recall seeing that at, the, at Great Adventure at some point. So that begs the question, what will Great Adventure do for the 50th anniversary? I think that this year, meaning 2024, will be a year of celebration at Great Adventure. I believe year round they will have massive festivals to hype up the park and make it feel the best it ever has. I'm talking live entertainment throughout the entire year, all kinds of decorations and all kinds of specialty foods, specialty drinks, specialty everything. I think they're really going to go all out for 2024. But before we get to 2024, we still have to get through 2023. I think 2023 will be similar to 2022 in the sense that it will be a year of improvement. Great Adventure, while it is an amazing park, it definitely has some areas it could improve on. Of course, Nitro's repaint would be great, and as far as I know, that is still happening next year. And of course, there are other areas of the park that maybe could just use a little sprucing up. 
I think once that happens next year, we're going to be really set up for a great 2024 anniversary where they can finish up whatever little things they wanted to fix in the park to make it look absolutely perfect and round it all together with some big addition. Of course, the one thing everybody wants to know is Great Adventure getting a roller coaster in 2024. Now, before Salim took over, I would have said 100% yes. The timing just made perfect sense. You had Jersey Devil, which was supposed to be a 2020 edition and wound up being a 2021 edition, which in the original plans would leave a four-year gap between Jersey Devil and the 2024 roller coaster. Of course, Salim took over and he has made it clear that rides really weren't the main focus, but it seems that during my interview, he kind of shifted that and he now accepts that rides are a main focal point of Six Flags. They're very important to the parks. People will not come to the parks without great rides, and he knows that, and it seems like he's going to start investing in rides very soon. When I asked him when we can expect to see the next new roller coasters at the Six Flags parks, this is what he had to say. Rides are critical to Six Flags, and we're going to be rolling up new rides in the next few years. So definitely vague, just like the 2024 anniversary comment, but it's telling us that he is planning to make additions roller coaster and ride editions. Like I said, he knows that that is the main draw, the main focal point of the Six Flags parks. People aren't going to Six Flags parks for the festivals or the theming, they're going for the rides. It's a well-known fact. And I think that Great Adventure will be lining up for a really great 2024 anniversary if they get a brand new roller coaster. Now, what kind of roller coaster? Where could it go? Let's talk about where it could go first, because there are plenty of spots throughout the park but there's a few that stick out to me personally. First one is the area next to Justice League where the aftermath haunted house maze currently resides during Fright Fest. That area has been undeveloped and kind of sat there for a very long time now, ever since Old Country, which used to be the area over there with Music Express, Enterprise, among many other older flat rides, was removed. Of course, most of the Old Country was redeveloped into Metropolis, However, not all of it. There's still that awkward path that kind of leads to the main path of the park that connects Metropolis to the near entrance area of the park. I think it would be great if we saw some development in that area, even if you had to take out a couple buildings over there. I know they're definitely gonna, not going to mess with those restrooms they redid, and the back of those restrooms kind of back up to that plot of land. So I think if they were to do anything with that plot of land, they would keep it pretty self-contained and not, try not to get rid of any buildings. But I always thought it would be cool to either see a roller coaster there, I thought a raptor would be great there until Jersey Devil was put where it is, or even a flat ride package. That area is prime for development, but I'm leaning towards a no on this area for 2024. I think there are two other areas that are much bigger and, in my opinion, much more in need of this addition. The first of these areas is the spot where Rolling Thunder used to reside in between El Toro and King Dika. We had had many conversations with the former park president of Great Adventure, John Winkler, and he kept emphasizing to us that it's very clear that El Toro and King Dika could use a new neighbor, the vacancy that Rolling Thunder left behind, and I think that would be a perfect spot for a major roller coaster. The options really are endless here. You have a lot of room that goes all the way back to the safari. You can even wrap it around El Toro depending on how much land work they want to do, but you can really put any kind of roller coaster here. I think it'd be cool to see a premier multi-launch, however that would be kind of weird considering you have a launch coaster in King Dika right next to it, a B&M dive coaster, but again it would kind of be shrunken compared to King Dika which is right next to it. I also thought that it would be cool to see Rolling Thunder reborn in an RMC dueling type fashion. I always thought that would be cool, but again, I'm leaning towards a different area of the park for the 2024 roller coaster, again, if it happens. This area of the park is right next to Medusa where the current Northern Star Arena sits. It has been long known that this area of the park meaning where Medusa, formerly known as Bizarro is, as well as the arena, is in major need of redevelopment. And they've already started. The retheme of Medusa, in my opinion, was a phase one move of a multi-phase move to make that area of the park really stand out and be possibly the best area of the park. Think about this. Medusa now stands out, it pops, it's got brand new paint, it's got a brand new sign, it really does pop, especially when you see it from the skyline. 
Now, by 2024, I imagine that paint will still be holding up pretty strong. The ride's still going to look relatively new, even though I know it's not new, but the re-theme is new. You get what I'm getting at. And then just imagine there's a massive new roller coaster where the Northern Star Arena currently sits right next to Medusa, themed to the Frontier Adventures area to further tie in with that backstory they've been trying to build with Frontier Adventures, and I think they will have an absolute winner on their hands. Of course, for 2024, the, the park's 50th anniversary, this is a park that has had incredible rides, both past and present. The Great American Scream Machine opened as the tallest roller coaster in the world. Batman and Robin the Chiller was unbelievably ambitious for the time. Nitro, King Ka, El Toro, all major, major roller coasters that are well known and well loved across the country. They really need to make this 2024 edition pop out and really be an icon for the park. That's why there are many options that can be considered, like a B&M dive coaster, maybe a Vacoma launch coaster, any kind of coaster would really be great here, but personally, I think the ride that would make the biggest standout move would be a B&M Giga Coaster. Now this is a ride that I've heard rumors from many people in my comment section as well as other places that this is probably happening. I think a Giga Coaster would be absolutely insane at Great Adventure, and while I know, this doesn't fill any gaps for Great Adventure at all in the coaster lineup. They don't really need this Giga Coaster. They have King Ka, which is 450 feet tall. They have Nitro, which does things very similar to a Giga Coaster. But I think the park could use a ride that focuses more on its speed and low to the ground maneuvers. And when we look at a ride like Fury 325, that's exactly what that ride does. It stays low to the ground, it focuses on turns and airtime, and I think that would be a perfect fit at Great Adventure. Now I'm sure many of you guys are in total disbelief by this because you cannot see the current management of Six Flags dumping this kind of money, making this kind of an investment into a ride like this. However, I disagree. I think the start of Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger with working with B&M again is just the start for the company and I think slowly they will work towards building bigger, high quality rides. Just looking at their current strategy of implementing festivals throughout the year, this mirrors SeaWorld Entertainment who has been doing this with all of their parks. They have festivals year round making the parks different and stand out, while at the same time they are adding major roller coasters every single year to their parks. Look at 2022, Pantheon, Iron Gwazi, Emperor, Icebreaker, and even 2023, while not the biggest year for SeaWorld, we still do have Dark Coaster, the Arctic themed launch coaster coming to SeaWorld San Diego, as well as the Surf Coaster coming to SeaWorld Orlando. They make major coaster investments every year, and I think Six Flags could really work well with a model type like that. So personally, I don't think a B&M Giga Coaster is completely out of the question for Great Adventure, especially in that Northern Star Arena plot. The Northern Star Arena really has not been used very much at all. It's been neglected in the sense that they haven't used it for quite a few years now. And while I was on my Medusa tour during Thrillathon, I noticed there was a lot of stuff being stored in that area. It looked like there might have been some movement over there, but in my opinion, I don't think the Northern Star Arena is long for this world. And what better way to fill that gap, fill that spot in the park, than with a massive B&M Giga Coaster. Just imagine the possibilities, how close you can get to the safari, how far into the woods you could go. There are so many possibilities with a ride type like that. But, of course, none of this is confirmed. This is just thinking based off of what Salim said in my interview with him where he promised that the 2024 anniversary, the 50th anniversary for Great Adventure would be big. I promise you it will be big. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it entertaining and you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, go check out our interview with Salim Basul, the CEO of Six Flags. Again, link below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, guys.